Hey everyone, Matt here from Herbal House NZ. In this video we're going to take a look at the Four Seasons Helios 480X and what makes it so great. As you can see, when you expect delivery you're going to get a nice plain brown box with only a delivery label on it, just the way we like it. Inside this box however, there is a beautiful Four Seasons box that we're going to get to now. Okay, so on the inside we obviously have the lovely looking box here with all the packaging, labels and specifications on the side. Let's get on to what's inside of it. Okay, so now that we've pulled everything out of the box and laid out all the components, I just wanted to show you first the kind of packaging you can expect to see in this box. They've done a fantastic job. Everything is packaged in pretty much cardboard with foam on the inside. Everything's really nice and tight and really doesn't wriggle around in the box. I'll just show you what you can expect to see when you're unboxing it. Let me just put this to the side here. So obviously this is just one of the LED bars, everything is wrapped like so. So in reference to that what you can expect to see in the box is of course some literature, some manuals. Um, we will be covering things in these videos but there is some, of course some light reading there for you. We do have the end rails, these are what the bars are going to clip into, two of those of course. And then in this case with this panel we have one, two, three, four, five, six LED bars specific for the 480X. We have here the 480 watt driver box, inside this is a Sosin 480 watt driver, obviously we've got the dimmer controls there, we'll be covering that soon. Included power cable, interconnecting cable from the driver box to the LED bars to power it all up. We of course have four hangers and some screws there that are going to hold this box down on the back side of the LEDs. So I'm going to put this together for you now and show you how easy it goes together. Easy as that. So, putting this thing together is an absolute breeze. I've put together a few of these now, and they're just as easy as the last. The idea being that the bars just snap together, you can put them around either way, and most importantly, the plugs only go one way, just to keep it really simple and really easy to put together. I will say for the size of the panel, it does come together easier than others we've tested in the past, and overall weight is very fair, but I will mention that the driver box is realistically the entire weight of this panel. So, let's move on to the features. Okay, so now we're going to discuss the design features of the Helios 480X. Now, the way they've done it across the entire Helios range is this even spacing between the LED bars. Now, they've done this for a few reasons. This is offering optimum airflow and cooling for the passively cooled LED bars. It's going to keep them running at a good temperature. Now, if you have additional airflow in the, within the room, it is going to help them run a little bit cooler, but they are designed to run hot or passively cooled without any airflow. Just fine. Now, they have spaced the bars to offer a really good PPFD mat, which we'll be, we will be covering soon uh, for a 1.2 meter by 1.2 meter grow space. This is a really, really good panel to replace a 600 watt HPS or metal halide fixture comfortably while saving on power and heat and still delivering excellent, if not better results in our opinion. Now, for a one by one, you could squeeze this panel in there, but it's more designed for a 1.2, which is what we've found. If you are really serious or going a little bit crazy, you could squeeze a 640X into a 1.2, but we found this panel is a really good place to be. For most people, at least it does meet budget requirements a lot better. So, moving on to the LED bars themselves. Obviously, we absolutely love the way they've done the snap-in bar design. Let me just pop this one out. Now, Four Seasons have told us they are looking to offer a range of LED bars coming in the future that you can swap in or out depending on which spectrum you want. But the ones that are fitted from this from the get-go are Samsung Allium 301Bs, fan favorite, we love them, customers love them, so they're sticking with them, in the 3000K and 5000K uh, color temperature. Now, when you combine those two color temperatures, it equals about a 3500K average. Now, for those who don't know, that's pretty much right where you want to be where you're looking for a good flowering or an all-purpose light. Now, they have supplemented in top of these some Osram 660s and Osram 730 diodes. Those are there to trigger the Emerson effect, or at least help promote it, and ensure a better flowering result. Now, closer up you will see a slight glare coming off these, that is the gel coating that they've applied across the entire panel, or PCB, with the diodes fitted. That keeps them water resistant, water resistant, sorry, and it means that you can give these a wipe if you ever had to, and if you're using these in a high humid environment, you're not gonna run into any issues with electrical short circuiting or anything like that. So just popping these back in here, let's move on to the driver. 
Okay, so inside the driver box here, or the beating heart of the LED panel, Inside here, Four Seasons has opted for a Sosin 480 watt driver. We've been doing some tests with the Sosin drivers, they've proven to be very effective and very reliable, um, and of course have a good power factor correction for those who care. Um, when it comes to the driver box itself, they have thermally mounted the driver to the box, so what you can expect to feel from this box here is it is going to get rather warm, the idea being that it is rejecting the heat from the driver inside, keeping it running cool and reliable. Now, Four Seasons have got a bit of length on the cable here, meaning if you wanted to, you can disconnect this box and put it elsewhere. The cable is a little bit short, Four Seasons is gonna be opting for longer cables, or at least giving you the option to have extra long cables in case you wanted to put this box elsewhere. The tricky part is with cables, when they get long, you start to get voltage drop. So they're gonna be using high quality cables, that's why this one is relatively short, it's gonna keep it running efficient. So with the box itself, they have gone for a waterproof or very moisture resistant design, with waterproof plugs on the front, and of course, the 25 stepped dimmer control on the front. Now, back side of course, we've got the three pin plug, nice long cable, and that is waterproof plug on the back side there as well. One thing to mention that wasn't in the unboxing there at the start is right on the front here we've got the RJ cables or the RJ ports. Now the idea for those ports is not everyone's going to use them of course, but they are there for daisy chaining your panels. Four Seasons does have a master controller, be available very shortly and we'll be covering a video on that. The idea being that all your panels can link to the master controller via a daisy chain style method and the idea is that the controller is going to be able to dim the panels in 5% increments, do sunrise sunset features, set uh, your light cycles, veg, flower etc and do a whole bunch of other commercial uh, fancy things like thermal cutouts and relay control for alarms or buzzers if you ever needed it. Not many of our domestic customers will but they are there for the people who are really into it. So. What we're going to do is set this panel up and get a PPFD map for you guys. Okay, so we've got both of our Helios 480Xs here. We've set them at 45 centimetres from the base and we've cranked them up to full power now. So we're doing our first test in the polar tent here. Now, for our instrument of choice, we've gone with the Apogee Far Pass sensor. I don't know if you can see that with the micro cache. Now, that's just going to be transmitting the data to our phone so we can data plot from there. Let's get into it. Okay, so now that we've carried out the PPFD map, we'll have it displayed right here. What we saw was an 854 UML average across the 1.2 by 1.2 grow space. Now we did do this in Eclipse Polar Series grow tent. These are polyethylene lined. Now the entire Helios range has a 6% far red, so that's a double over the 3% that the original Helios had. So that's there to trigger a higher Emerson effect, which should translate to a better flowering result. Now, at 45 centimeters, we saw about 1,200 peak U-moles directly beneath the panel in the center. That is a lot, that's definitely up at the level of CO2 where it should be injected, but we've found most of our customers like to run their panels around there. So, of course, this is probably as close as anyone's gonna probably run it, at 45, of course, at full power. Now, not to mention you can adjust this panel higher to reduce the intensity, and of course, the dimmer module itself will allow you to adjust the intensity accordingly and save on efficiency, power and heat of course. So all in all a fantastic light and especially when you pair this with the Four Seasons Master Controller coming soon which we will have a video on of course and we really look forward to seeing what our customers find from this panel. Thanks for watching.